This week, the NTSB has given us a lot of detailed video and photos, and they've also announced today that all major pieces of the uh, Bombardier CRJ-700 and the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk involved in the January 29 mid-air collision near Ronald Reagan National Airport have now been recovered to a secure airport facility for further examination and documentation. Teams also recovered the CRJ's Traffic Collision Avoidance System, which is the TCAS, and retrieved additional avionics from the Black Hawk as well. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm working on the next video here covering this DC plane crash to address some questions that a number of people have been asking. So stay tuned for that one. Okay, so this is the first NTSB update from yesterday. So this was on February 7th when they were hauling up the debris from the helicopter. And there it is in the middle of the barge there and they've zoomed in and you can see the, the two wheels still on there, right? So they apparently survived the explosion. So the explosion must not have been as big as it, it looked. I mean, it looks pretty huge on the videos, but looked at the, at the mangled mess. So when this helicopter fell, this Black Hawk, when it fell into the Potomac River, it looked like it pretty much got quite twisted and torn. You see that? That's why they couldn't retrieve the flight data recorders out of there. They said they had to wait until they get it up and out of the water before they could do it. I mean, this thing is just a mess. So it looks like it basically split in half when it crashed. So here they are bringing that large section there. Man, that just must be an incredible sight to see that. How depressing for these guys here working here to see this scene. So they're bringing in this big old truck and they're going to cart this over to the hangar and I will show you scenes from the hangar momentarily. So uh, they just released this video late last night and uh, the one I'm about to show you, they just released a few minutes ago, which has some incredible stuff. Look at this, there's the, the part with the rotor on it. And look, part of it is still there, looks like, yeah. But you can see the other parts got shredded right off. Now you're going to see the truck taking the debris from the Black Hawk helicopter over to the hangar. That's just amazing. Look at that damage. So now we know why they couldn't get in there to get at any of the flight data recorder. I don't even see how they're going to get into it when it's in the hangar. They're going to have to really tear this thing apart to get in there. And then here comes the engine. See, and again, it's relatively intact. Yeah, there's pieces and stuff missing off of it. But this Black Hawk helicopter survived uh, remarkably intact for that high-speed collision and the explosion and then falling 300 feet into the water like that. Now they're going to hoist it onto the truck bed there with all of the other parts. What I don't know is if they're going to be inside the exact same hangar as the airplane or not. But once in there, they are likely going to be photographing and digitizing every single part that they have. So this looks like to be most of the helicopter right there. And they're carting it under police escort over to the hangar. You can see the tower in the background, right over there on the right side of the image above the, the dark colored SUV there. Oh, and off it goes to the hangar. I sped it up for you. Now let's take a look together at some of the photos that the NTSB released yesterday showing the salvage operations of recovering this Black Hawk Pat 25. And here they are pulling up the aft section of the helicopter. Man, this thing has just looked like it was a big bite taken out of the whole front of it. Like it was just crunched in out of the Potomac. So there it goes right there up onto the barge. And then you can see the wheels up. And then just about an hour ago here on February 8th, 2025, the NTSB released this video that we're about to see that they shot on February 6th. 
So this is them examining the plane, the American Airlines Flight 5342, as it arrives at the hangar. And they're also going to show us some more B-roll as it's inside the hangar and they're examining the parts. It's just amazing how many sections of the plane are fairly well intact. And they did say that they've gotten most of the major parts up and they will probably go back later for some of the smaller parts. That looks like one of the doors there, if I'm not mistaken. She's resting her hand on it. And then there's what it looks like in the hangar as they start to bring in some of the parts. That's got to be a nightmare to like put the puzzle piece together to like figure out where all of these parts came from. It was just like when uh, they did the Champlain Towers here in Miami. If you've seen any of my videos uh, showing the tours through the uh, NIST warehouses where they have all the hundreds and hundreds of parts of the building and all the different columns all there and every single piece is digitized and they can build a model out of it and they can remove pieces to see through the model to look at other pieces it's amazing so this is what they gave us today here from the ntsb now the ntsb also released a series of photos here that they shot inside the hangar as they examined different parts of the american airlines flight 5342 the plane debris that was brought up from the potomac river so they've got some good sized sections that they're examining right now. And then NBC4 got some good video close up in front of the hangar here. Check this out. Yeah, Sean and Jim, absolutely heartbreaking. This is the first time that we've got a chance to see this wreckage up close. And as a matter of fact, I can show you inside hangar number seven right now. You can get a look at a side of the plane, possibly see some of the windows, all that wreckage transported in here. Now take a look at this video within the last hour flatbed trucks were rolling through here, pulling that wreckage. It was pulled off a barge on the Potomac River, then put on flatbed trucks very carefully and rolled here to hangar number seven, where all of it is going to be inspected very closely. Pieces of American Eagle Flight 5342 finally back on land. News 4 crews watching today as one of the engines was pulled from a barge on its way to be transferred to a hangar at Reagan National Airport for further inspection. A wing of the airplane also visible. Slowly and deliberately, each piece being carefully transferred to solid ground to hopefully provide solid answers to this incident. And here you can see them recovering one of the wings, so it's good that they were able to recover these as well as part of the investigation. Now here is more video that surfaced during the week as they were pulling up more debris from the American Airlines Flight 5342. That's the CRJ 700. So you can see the windows there. There's an engine that came up there. There's part of a wing. Now if you haven't seen our last video here on the DC plane crash, you can see it here on the upper left thumbnail. And if you missed the video on the Philadelphia plane crash, that's on the lower left for you. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you on the next one.